<laughs> All right. We need to talk about these oopsies. So apparently there's been more oopsies. PewDiePie has all the facts and all the views. That's why we bro stop drinking my soda. You should have me one. No no D what did up a bit of bad no oopsie. Good evening, I'm Poppy Moria, and what- <laughs> now, that I, now that I actually know where, like, who these people are, but, and he's just, just pretending to be them, it's so funny. Welcome to Mary Ham News. Our first story comes from Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa is a YouTuber with over almost 10 million <laughs> subscribers. Hello, all my good friends, and welcome back to the- I couldn't watch that shit, bro. Oh, actually, oh, wow. if y'all want us to react to JoJo Silva, we will just to give give. I mean, I react to it. I'm gonna see like what kind of channel she has. Mm -hmm. oh. Big kids, I'm Pip. Why does this exist? Well, it turns out that in JoJo Siwa's products, it was contaminated for the second time with asbestos. What? Jojo Siwa has products that cause cancer. <laughs> What? Not only does her content cause cancer, now her products does as well. Jojo Siwa is <laughs> like my pillar of trust. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is beyond savage, man. He's... Oh. <laughs> what? Why did he work? Because he's in trouble when he walks out. Oh, wait, where is he at? He's in his cage. What cage? The dog cage. <laughs> he has a cage? The yeah. dog has a get him out the cage, man. No. Why is he in trouble? Because he wasn't listening to me. Are you <laughs> Bro, get him out the cage. He's barking. Get him out the cage. He's barking. Well, I mean, get him out the cage. Get him out the cage. Get him out the cage. How could she break it like this? What the frick, Jojo Siwa? I trusted you. I've always said, Jojo Siwa, I can trust no matter what. I buy all my merch and makeup products from her. For those of you who don't know, asbestos is uh, usually found in fiberglass in like isolation of houses. Insulation. It's very not good to breathe in that stuff. That can give you cancer and other illnesses. Very bad thing. Cause cancer to your fans. Not good. Okay, so she released this apology video. Apology video time! Yay! <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? This mother. You do not give off that. You do not have the right to. She's a child. Why? Okay. First off. Why is this millionaire child building a makeup business by herself? Well, here's also was on Dance Mom, the TV reality. Okay, but that's beside the point. Why aren't they, why isn't there an adult there doing the apology or the people who manufactured it? Why do you have this child doing it, bro? She, that's too much responsibility. She's not going to take it seriously. Of course she's smiling. You give off that smirk. Jojo, all right, and don't get don't get me started with the ironic sigh, the sigh. I'm getting very angry. You know, nothing says genuine apology video like disabling the comments and uploading it on your second channel. Yay! Let's make sure as few people as possible know about this. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I was gonna start this video all serious and dramatic, but. That's not who I am. That's not what this video is about. It's just this video makes me uh, This video is just pure pain to watch so I'll just skip to the end You can get a, a refund at no matter what it is if it's used if it's unused you can get a full refund Oh, so I can still use it. <laughs> it has asbestos in it, but I, I can still use it. That's great I got asbestos for free. Wow, that's so nice. Thank you Jojo Siwa. Thank you to be fair 
play devil's advocate. Maybe this is one of those things where, God, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Maybe this is one of those things where it sounds bad, but it really is not that big of a deal. That's just the only way I can defend this. I don't know, and I don't care to look into it because I'm Mary Ham and research, that's for pussies. Next news update. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he did her so wrong. He did marry her <laughs> so bad. Damn. Researchers for Because they don't research at CNN. They uh, like, damn. Update news. Update news. Get excited for update news. T View versus Face Clan drama update. Yay. I really want to know more about this. What Please tell us. Yes, I will. He did an uh, edit. I know, but I don't know. It's weird. Well, <laughs> I will. Okay, calm down. Tifu's lawyer has spoken out. In an interview, previously what we know about the Face Clan versus Tifu lawsuit was the fact that Face Clan kept saying, oh, we, we tried to just give him like an updated contract, but he just said, no, he doesn't want to be part of Face. He just like, oh, he doesn't want to be part of it. He's so unreasonable. Like, why does he not just negotiate with us? Well, apparently, as it turns out, uh, through Tifu's lawyers, that they did. They tried to give a legal version of the contract to them. Uh, which Face Clan then adjusted so much in the sense that it, it became illegal again. Face Clan was presented with a contract Turner would accept. It was, you know, as close to a legal contract as you can get, but apparently that wasn't good enough for them. And they oh, it was an illegal contract. They probably were taking too much money from him. This is why, YouTubers, you never sign up with yes. like a freaking network. I did it and I lost like probably thousand dollars from the contract because yeah they give you your checks faster they like they offer you faster pay instead of you having to wait like a month or two you can get your check in like two weeks or maybe a week I heard there's this new network they can pay you every day which I still it see I see that as like maybe that probably be definitely a bad contract just because like if they do pay you that quick whatever money you don't make they will take out of your assets at the end of the month so or you will owe them money so I would say avoid these contracts all together MCNs are really like record labels like you know how you have record labels for music and they cheat the artists out of their music and they give them a million dollars, and if the record doesn't make a million dollars, they have to pay them that money back. That it's the same thing for YouTube. YouTube now has labels. They're not record labels, they're like video labels. They come and say, hey, we could give you a contract to make you bigger. They put all this money and resources behind you, but you don't really benefit from it. And at the same time, they try to control you, creative control. Now, some of them give, creative control but the point is if you don't make them a certain amount of money they drop you if something goes wrong you have to leave potentially with thousands of dollars stolen from you due to the terms of the contract I think that it's good that MCNs do not have all the power anymore like they used to back then MCNs had all the power they literally you had to go through MCN or you just didn't get paid now things are a lot different. You can get paid directly through YouTube's partner program. So, there's that. Decided to uh, mark up about half of it, get rid of about half of it, put in their own provisions, which again made it illegal once again. Obviously, this is interesting because it changes sort of what was the dynamic of what was said. But at the same time, what their version of the contract could have been easily as unreasonable to face client as Face clients contract to teeth you so it could be whatever yeah in the end it could it doesn't even matter another point that was interesting that was brought up was the sixty thousand dollars that face client had only taken from tfu and that was it that's all they've taken but the lawyer brings up well he's actually brought them in so much more money just from being in face thousand dollar figure as to what they made off him it's disingenuous i mean do you realize how much money phase plan is making by having turner as part of its team how much advertising they're selling how many sponsorships that they obtained because turner was part of their team it's almost laughable to think that they are saying that they took sixty thousand dollars from him and that's it when they've made millions of dollars 
Okay, all right. It's a good point, right? That's why phase wants to have. Really, that's really the fucked up part, right? Because like, yeah, the, to keep you is kind of wrong, I guess, on that front because. Just because they made $66,000 from you, that's what they actually made just directly from your contract, from your earnings. But just because you were big and popular and that led to the whole company getting more opportunities doesn't mean they owe you more money. I think that's wrong. Yes, the contract was fucked up. Maybe you should have got some of the sponsorships that may that you may have gotten FaZe Clan just because of your popularity, but at the end of the day, your popularity probably just saw them as a big company and was like, well, you always have the best stars on your roster. We would love to give you more sponsorships. It's you're not you're indirectly part of their success of getting more business. But that doesn't mean that they have to give you their money just because you were the popular thing that got them more business. Now, with the contracts, I understand if they did take money from your direct earnings that you made yourself while being a a FaZe Clan contract, then you have something to complain about. But that's like me working at Walmart and more people come to Walmart because they know me. That doesn't mean Walmart owes me a million dollars. You see what I mean? I work for Walmart. They going to pay me what they pay me, you know, but don't do a contract anyway. Stay out the contract. You don't need a contract. Have T Few part, part of face to begin with, so that they can make money. Oh, his clout, his epic Fortnite clout. Smash like if you're like Fortnite. But then again, if he makes him that much money through brand deals, then why the hell did he only make sixty thousand from it, right? Or what's twenty percent? Uh, I mean, uh, math. Help me. Sixty times x. No, oh, x times x times zero. Twenty. 300,000. That's my math. <laughs> he just only made 300,000 through brand deals from Facebook. All right. Next. Deji! Deji versus KSI drama. Now, this has been some of the hottest drama in a very long time. <laughs> Savage, bro. <laughs> like, no, no one cares about this. I, even me trying to figure it out, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, well. <laughs> Deji uploaded a video yesterday or two days ago. It's very emotional. You know what? I'm tired of it. If you understood what I was going through, then you would understand. What do you think of this? Um, well, he kind of set himself up, to be honest, because the fact that he's crying <laughs> like a baby. And post it up on YouTube. Everybody's not even just gonna come back and say how much of a pussy he is. Like, well, no, in the, the well, in the comments they said, uh, what they say in the comments? They said, uh, Deji, we care about your mental health more. Just take a break, man. Get off social media and YouTube. Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, I think, I honestly, I really do think that he does need to take a break. Him and KSI just. They, oh my gosh, he's just, he needs to stop, he needs to stop uploading videos exposing every little privacy that they have, and just go talk to his brother, and if it, that, that doesn't work out, cut ties from his brother, and just keep it that way for a long time. Go about your business, do as you need to do. Don't sit here and upload videos of you being vulnerable, because people are literally going to use that against you. I mean, Drama Alert has, like, he was talking about it, I think, earlier. PewDiePie made a video on it for views. But... Yeah, I mean, they, they're using these videos just for their benefits, and he, he's setting himself up for it. And it makes sense, though, because it's like, like, come on, you, you, you kind of drive the YouTube ecosystem and give people more views when you do, do this kind of stuff. And it's yeah. like, people want it to happen in a way. People actually like when this stuff happens just so they have something to talk about. Yeah, something to talk about, something to entertain with, or something. It's uh, that's just how the internet works. Yeah. That's just how it works. Yeah. And it's just like another thing is as soon as the whole fight started, like as soon as there was that little battle going up between them and the videos and the music videos and all that stuff, that's where he tended, I mean, that's where one of them should have been the bigger brother. 
the for internet a is person bitch. and just stop and walk away and leave it alone for maybe a good six months to a year. Leave it alone for a while. And then come back and be like, hey, what was that about? Or like, we need to talk about something. Don't sit here and just air out all your family drama on so on the on the on the internet. It's so dumb. Yeah. All right, but people have to when, when someone's lying about you. Okay, so how did we end up here? Let me summarize for you. Instead of watching what, like five hours of content three weeks ago, Deji, Cave's eyes brother, uploaded a video saying that he's tired of seeing as the bad guy, and he uploaded this video called Bye. And he's like, uh, my brother is not that great, okay? The main gist of the video was that he felt like his brother didn't stand up for him, his brother didn't have his back, and that he's done a lot of shady stuff as well. Have your back, no matter what. Family sticks by you. Then KSI responded to this video. I'm here for you, whether we're on good terms or bad terms. Whenever you message me, I always reply, Dej. I want you to succeed in everything you do. But Deji, man, you have to communicate with me. To me, this video seemed pretty genuine. He addressed almost, I think, all the issues that Deji brought up about the girl drama that happened. Apparently, K side slept with a girl that Deji liked. Some drama that happened during Christmas. Who cares? That Deji is always getting punched in his videos or something like that. And Deji responded saying, okay, moving on. Great, great. Thank God. Just solve this privately like why was this video made to begin with i would be a lot more inclined to pick deji's side in this situation if this original video didn't have a bunch of mid-rolls on it it's a 45 minute video very much in the same style as the tati call out james <laughs> Damn. charles video that was gained so much traction if it wasn't for these two things i would be more inclined to believe deji's intention with just wanting to stand up for himself he keeps saying that i'm not attacking ksi i'm just standing up for myself that my intention was not to attack him but you are bringing up a lot of things about your brother to make him look bad you don't have to do that to defend yourself not all of it is that way but a lot of it is you can stab someone and say i'm not trying to hurt you well that doesn't change the fact. Then Deji uploads a fourth video wearing the exact same outfit. What have you been doing for the past two weeks, Deji? <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? It's Deji. Oh my god. Savagery. <laughs> <laughs> in this video, Deji says that he has huge evidence saying that case I lied about the girl thing. <laughs> Deji boy. <laughs> oh, Deji boy. Ooh, Deji boy, you crazy, man. Boy. Because <laughs> in case I said, case I said he didn't know who the girl he slept with was actually someone his brother knew. Oh my god. He's straight up lying. I'm going to show you some huge evidence that will just make you question the whole of my brother's video. I didn't even know she knew you. I don't even remember your name even being mentioned. For all I knew, she was just a girl that I met at a concert. I didn't even see her in any of your videos. And then these are his texts, okay? These are his texts. I'm not gonna read them. You read them for yourself. So this is KSI saying that she, he knew the girl was on his channel. But that doesn't prove that he knew that they were together. But then again, KSI, look at this. I have evidence. I don't even remember your name even being mentioned. For all I knew. He touched his nose. That's like a classic example of lying. KSI liar confirmed. There's. Oh. 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 Dang. It happened, what, three years ago? Two, th two years ago? It's 2016. I don't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> Help me, please. It just seems so stupid, all of this. Did you guys not listen in my Tati video? Stop bringing private things into public. Then Deji showed, it gets so bizarre. Deji shows a, the text message between her and this girl because he thought she gave him an STD. Oh, this is someone else, sorry. Deji is writing, F you, man, to a girl. <laughs> Made me sick, you dumb F. How are you gonna meet me? Then tell me you're sick. Honestly, F yourself. I ain't meeting you anymore. I don't trust you. You could have given me an STD. Dumb B word. I'm sorry, sad face. Dang, this is just vicious. Dang, can't, Deji is really disrespectful, bro. Like... What the hell? I'm sorry, I only started to feel ill that day when I was on the way up. He's making it seem like... 
she could have given him an STD, but anybody can really feel like sick at any moment of the day, time. Look, look, listen. All I'm trying to say is, bro, you don't want to have sex with her. You should have had sex unprotected if you weren't sure. You took you the risk. You make me s- okay. I could be sick and not even realize it until maybe like halfway in through the day. It happens all the time. Well, it's not the fact of that. He got but he's trying to make it seem like she could have given him an STD. STD is so, so different okay, than okay, getting sick. Okay. That's just, he, no. And he says, you're a real piece of shit? Are you talking about yourself, Desi? Like, that, that's him. Like, he's a real piece of shit. Do you have an STD? That's like a, that's, that's like Why a is he even asking her if he has an STD? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because he's... I don't know. He He's not helping his case here. Like That's like if, you know, I kiss you and then I get sick. Because you had a cold and I get a cold. I'm not going to be talking. That's crazy, bro. This, and then she said, of course crazy. I don't. Good. Go away. Uh, okay, let's do yeah, this. you go away. What the hell? That makes me mad. Deji is just, bro. Deji is crazy, bro. Deji's crazy. Oh you sad God. face. I only, I only started, started feeling ill that day when like I PewDiePie said, bizarre. <laughs> I was on the way up. Sad face. Sad face. F off. You're a real piece of sh. Do you have an STD? Cause I swear. What? Of course I don't. Good. Sad face. Go away. What the hell is this? I met this girl, right? She did. She had a cold. I didn't know she had a cold. I literally had a, like, a cold the next day, and I thought she gave me an STD. I was pissed. That's why I said all the me. Wait a minute. So because you had snot coming out your nose, you thought that had something to do? No. STD don't work that fast. He's st- but STDs don't give you a cold, right? I, I mean, yeah, no, I wouldn't don't. know. Okay, I mean, no. they can make you sick and stuff, but it takes time. Like, they have to go into your body and destroy the white, I think it was like white blood cells. Oh, yeah, it breaks down your immune yeah, system. Yeah, it breaks down the immune system. It doesn't just automatically break you down your whole entire immune system in one night. That's crazy, bro. This dude crazy. You shit, I said. <laughs> what the hell is this? Hell, we wouldn't know shit, but that shit is crazy, bro. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I got a call. I thought you had an STD. Then it gets very emotional and very intense. And then that girl, the stupid, stupid girl, has the audacity to make a video saying she's clearing the air when you know what you did. You fucked up massively. Despite Deji's flaws, I do like him in a way. He's he has a lot. Of, he he has some likable qualities. Okay, I hate to see him like this. I think this has clearly gone too far. Deji. Please, Please take, take a break. break. You'll, You'll be, be fine. fine. It's time to take a break from YouTube. This is... It's not a good idea. In one way, you know, he's the one that made the first video. He's the one that started all this out of nowhere. And it shows again how bad of an idea it is to bring these private matters into the public eye. A lot of people... Especially with KSI having more subs, and you never know, his subs could probably be more yeah. on his side, so... Yeah. And it says a lot that PewDiePie is literally telling him to take a break, like, because the fact that it's making him get to that point, like, he's, like, into the, un, like, unstable place. Yeah. And it and affects all his... These, and all these opinions coming from comments and everybody. Yeah, yeah and you have, like, yeah. people around the world watching you, people around the world giving you harsh criticism. Mm-hmm. That's a lot to take in. And plus, if she's with your brother and all of this coming out, like, that's a, that's even more of an issue to deal with. So, of course, he's going to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Damn. Like, he needs to go somewhere. Like, he was, like, just like, like, he needs to, <laughs> he needs to get some therapy and <laughs> some mental institution. <laughs> no, I did. No, here's the thing too. Like, I, I'm surprised like PewDiePie hasn't had this like crazy mental breakdown because he's been making because videos. Because he kept crazy. himself sane. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't so focused on what everybody was saying, and he handled his own shit in private. Yeah. Like, has he ever talked about him and Marcia going through a big fight? Has he's he not. ever talked about like all these little 
like big fights if he had with his friends and his family. Like no, he mm. solved them in in <laughs> private. Yeah, because that's your life, bro. Yeah. I understand why he makes videos the way he does. He barely has his girlfriend in his videos. He barely has the rest of his house in his videos. He barely shows off his life unless he goes on a vacation or a trip. He's always in his room making videos just about him because he does not want that extra exposure to his life, especially with this many people like the media attacking him. I understand. I think he understood that it's better to just keep your life private, bro. Yeah. Like, you don't yeah. need your life. Because I've noticed, so the people that <clears throat> expose their life on, on YouTube are the ones that have the most drama. Mm -hmm. Because while they're putting their life on YouTube, is fake. I swear to God, the majority of it is fake. And they're living a fake lifestyle to keep up with that YouTube lifestyle so they can have views money and lost time and get big and famous and then but when they turn the camera off I don't even think they even know how to act for like know how to act like like act like themselves be themselves I don't even think they even know how to do that because like they expose everything they expose so much to the point to where they feel like they gotta be that person I guess so, yeah. And then, you know, a lot of them don't last too long on YouTube, man, because, no. like like I said, all these couple channels, they falling <laughs> apart. Like, they fall apart because they've been putting their, their issues on online. YouTube, too. Like, when they fight, they talk about it on YouTube. Like, I don't know. That's crazy, bro. People seem to think like, like oh yeah, yeah people, people just do, do all this crazy stuff, stuff to start drama online and like it's, it's gonna, gonna be epic they get so much views yes, yes they get views from it but clearly it's taken a massive mental toll on deji and i do feel him for that and i think i hope he realizes to just stop this no one cares who's right and wrong at this point i don't just it's time to drop it i will not be talking about this anymore this is just stupid at this point i think it shows a it's a fatal flaw with the youtube of how you know numbers start dropping and you feel like you have to do something and then at the end was it worth it i don't think so next news dr disrespect did something disrespectful <laughs> what unbelievable so dr disrespect did an irl stream on the e3 floor he was very much in character making fun of people at the site Dr. Disrespect dresses disrespectful. <laughs> and he, like, he does, but he just, he looks... Disrespectful. <laughs> uh, he really, he disrespectful for wearing that. He's but. not pleasing to look at. He's not pleasing well, to Well, that's look the at. point. That's why they call him Dr. Disrespect. Is he still a virgin? I bet. I no, bet. no, he cheated on his wife. Like, yeah, this dude... He probably dude. paid that woman to have sex with her. No, no, he, no, he's a, I'm no homo, but he's a good looking guy without all that costume and stuff. That's just his look. Oh. Yeah, he's disrespectful though. He cheated on his wife, made fun of Chinese on video games. He's done. Oh. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Then Dr. Disrespect did the unthinkable. He had very hot poo poo and needed to, to go and make mud pie. Diarrhea hot. Can we find a diarrhea place? I'm starting to get pissed off. And he filmed inside the bathroom. So here's how that footage looked like. This caused Dr. Disrespect uh, of getting banned from Twitch. 
That's right, everybody. So it is against the community guidelines. I think on Twitch website, it says that sharing content that violates another reasonable expectation of privacy from, for example, streaming from a private space without permission. Should this Dr. Disrespect being banned? Yes, I don't think anyone is arguing against. He clearly went against the rules. I, and uh, that's just how it is. I've seen a lot of people picking some sort of moral high ground of going, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe Dr. Disrespect did this. Obviously, I understand that people want bathrooms to be a private space and that, that should not be violated. I get it. At the same time, I don't see the big deal. It's sort of like the meme with boys locker room. What, what do people, people think happened in the boys' locker room? <laughs> what if someone saw someone's penis? I have never seen a penis in a boys' locker room or a, or a men's bathroom, okay? Unless you specifically go, huh? And you're not gonna see some penis, pee pee. A lot of people have been saying, well, there was a kid. There was a kid in one of the urinals. Ah, oh, well, checkmate, liberals. Kids aren't allowed at E3. Maybe you should try and ban him instead, huh? Oh. It's illegal to film in a bathroom? Okay, all right, well, let's look at the law. Number 647, which everyone brings up. This is the one everyone talks, it's illegal, it's illegal. Okay, well, what does it say? Privacy, Exi Exi existing law generally makes a person who looks through a hole or opening into a periscope, telescope, camcorder, camera, in a uh, bedroom, bathroom, changing room, big room, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like people think we apparently it's illegal to like film somebody that's not even illegal bro not really it's not really illegal now if you're filming like inside their house or whatever like private property that's different oh you know. but if you film them like, like if you, just, you film them out in like public like at the mall yeah like some lady is like this lady she was literally threatening another woman like she was like threatening her with like if you put me on youtube i'm gonna show you it's not She's illegal. Like nah, you can't do this. And she was, yeah, that lady was talking so yeah. much crap. Cause if that, there's tons of like public videos on YouTube, they they would have been taken down or something by now. Yeah. So. With the intent to invade privacy of a person, is guilty of misdemeanor. With the intent, was it Doctor Disrespect intent to invade the privacy of a, of a person in there? I think that's arguable. Maybe I'm not a lawyer, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. From the footage of this, it's just following him into the bathroom stall. It's not trying to show other people. That's just what I got about, out of it. Was it a bad idea? Absolutely. Should he have gotten banned? I guess so. That are the, those are the rules. Was this the worst thing that has ever happened? I don't think so. That is not for me to say, I think other people should do this. I'm just looking at the context of this. I don't see it as that big of a deal to act so outraged about okay it seems more like people are insecure about their schlongs being shown on camera for some reason and me mary ham don't care no insecurities about schling schlongs our final note comes from peter who made this tweet love the new hashtag pokemon wooloo great well my new favorite pokemon is ruined thanks peter they have a special message for all their future trainers i'm not your wooloo sweater this is a meme template waiting to happen. And of course, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Unbelievable. My wool grows back. Anyone is welcome to take my wool. Sheeps have to be sheared. They don't shed like most animals. Shearing doesn't hurt them at all. They enjoy it. Well done, Pita. Well done. That was it for all the oopsies this week. PewDiePie, no oopsies. Smash like, subscribe. Check. No oopsies, no oopsies. That was a great video. I enjoyed it. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs>